You've just woken up in the middle of a cornfield. You have no idea how you got here. What's that? You notice something rustling in the corn behind you. Run! It's right behind you. Don't look back. Just keep going. You've made it. You've just reached safety. Or did you? Special containment procedures. All instances of SCP-1498 are to be held in standard containment chambers, located within Site-77. One technician is to be on hand to answer any calls placed to SCP-1498. Transcripts of all calls must be placed in Site-77's non-anomalous records archive. Any persons found to have interacted with SCP-1498 are to be quarantined for two months or until they show any signs of SCP-1498. Subjects showing signs of exposure are to be contained as an instance of SCP-1498-1, which require the same accommodation as instances of SCP-1498. SCP-1498 is a collection of 30 autonomous bundles of phone cords and handsets, assembled in such a way that they resemble sheep. Instances of SCP-1498 are fully ambulatory, and will wander their containment chambers aimlessly. The words make your own custom dreamscapes with your friends at the Oniri Collective are printed on each instance. If a sapient organism attempts to use one of the phone handsets present on SCP-1498, they will hear three rings, followed by a voice identifying themselves as an operator for the Oaniri Collective. This voice will instruct the subject on various options they have for dreaming and make suggestions for enhanced dreaming experiences. Following the completion of this call, the subject will lose consciousness for nine hours. When the subject regains consciousness, they will claim to have experienced the dream they ordered to any exact specifications they may have made. Subjects may express a desire to continue using SCP-1498's effect, or attempt to reuse it immediately. As subjects are repeatedly exposed to SCP-1498, they may begin to experience changes to their bodily and mental state. Subjects affected by SCP-1498 will express a desire to sleep as frequently as possible, preferring the use of SCP-1498 if they are able to. While asleep, portions of the subject's cranium and skull will be replaced with portions of telephones similar to those found on SCP-1498. This has manifested in a variety of ways, including Subjects coughing up telephones, with cords extending into their esophagus. Telephone wires beginning to grow in place of hair. Ringing devices found on rotary telephones within the subject's ears, which may begin ringing continuously. Vocalizations being replaced with dial tones.
SCP-1498 was recovered on 9-18-1965 from an abandoned office complex in Miami, Florida, USA. After reports of bizarre livestock reached local foundation assets, When Foundation agents entered the building, they discovered the SCP-1498 instances. One bedroll, approximately half a ton of rotary telephone components. And two pints of Type AB blood in a glass jar. In addition, one pajama onesie, well worn, was discovered folded at the bedroll. Testing has shown several months worth of sweat and body oils soaked into the fabric. Eventually, a rotary phone will assemble itself on the subject's head, out of all the components that have been grown within and on their bodies. As of 11-14-1965, SCP-1498 has been classified as Euclid. End of file.